All right, we'll uh, switch back to offense. Uh, senior offensive lineman Matt Farniak. Uh, first question from Joe Nugent of WOWT. Hey, Matt, uh, curious what you think of tomorrow with all these college athletes across the country having the day off uh, on Election Day. Um, just a great opportunity for people to have their voices be heard and uh, cast their vote for whoever they think is the uh, best candidate. Uh, KLKN, Andrew Ward. Hey, Matt, thanks for doing this. Hey, uh, just how have you guys navigated like this past week with having a game, then not having a game, and now you're, you know, one game down? Um, honestly, we're just with how crazy this year is right now and everything going on. It's just day by day. Um, just continue to work to understand the game plan that's in front of us and just be, uh, be a better person and better player than you were, than who you were yesterday. Uh, Steve Sippel, Lincoln Journal Star. Hi, Matt. Um, another week, another pretty big challenge for you guys. Northwestern looked really stout up front um, uh, on defense against in, the, in their game against Iowa. What What are your impressions of their front seven, and particularly their linebackers? Patty Fisher's a three time All Big Ten choice. How much is he in your thoughts this week? Um, I mean, just like everyone, uh, we know that they have a very stout, very strong run defense. Uh, their, their linebackers are aggressive guys. And uh, we just look forward to the challenge. We know it's going to be a kind of inch-by-inch inch type of game, and we always look forward to those types of games, just kind of man-to-man, -man, who's going to be more disciplined, who's going to win these battles each play. How do they – I mean, how does this challenge compare in contrast to the one you faced against Ohio State? Um. I'd say it's similar. I'd say just um, they're. I'd say they're a little bit more of a power-based type of defense, and um, they're gonna they're gonna meet you and they're gonna just try and overpower you, which uh, is gonna be a fun challenge. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Uh, also, Lincoln Journal Star Parker Gabriel. Matt, a lot gets made of the jump that teams tend to make between week one and week two. Obviously, you have an extra week in there, but what would you like to see? Where would you like to see? Uh, your group up front make strides from from week one to week two um just staying on our blocks continuing to get a good push and giving that quarterback as uh as much time as possible um i think we had a couple of lapses um and i think we have, we've we've uh, done a good job of striding to improve where we needed to and i'm looking forward to seeing those uh improvements take two more for matt uh sam McHugh and omaha world herald Matt, when, when you get a sudden off day like this, like you had on Saturday, um, where you weren't anticipating and all of a sudden you have you know, all these hours ahead of you, do, do you spend that trying to get away from the game or did you just kind of dive back in and watch a lot of football? Um, just watch a lot of football. I mean, like I said earlier, it's just a crazy year. You really don't know what's going to happen really in tomorrow. So um, just kind of take today, uh, do all you can, improve as much as you can. And then whatever happens, just take it as a learning experience. And whether you have to improve on the mental aspect of the game or the physical, uh, just find a way to get better. You've been through this for a while now. You're a fifth-year senior and you're a leader and a captain. Um, when, when you guys got the news, not only last week that Wisconsin was going to cancel, but then they wouldn't let you play the non-conference game, do you try to look around and, and see maybe some of the younger guys struggling with this? Maybe they're in their first or second year and they haven't kind of been through this before. And do you try, what do you say to guys when you can tell they're struggling with the roller coaster and the uncertainty of the season? Um, I just remind them, this is kind of a, a weird year. I mean, this isn't a normal year. I mean, no one knows what's going to happen. Just kind of remind them like, Hey, like is what it is. If they cancel, if they come back, they let us play. It doesn't matter if you continually get better and continue to improve on your game. Um, that's all that matters. And just keep striving to be a better player. Thank you. Thank you. And last one for Matt, uh, Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Matt, I was curious. So that was your first game as a guard, your four, first full game against Ohio State. After kind of looking at things, studying things, um, how do you think you did? And where do you really want to improve at here going forward as a guard? Um, I think I did all right. I just got to get used to the uh, 
how fast the actual contact happens. There's there's a little bit of a speed change in the essence of how fast contact gets to you. And uh, I just got to get ready and get used to uh, that, um, the quickness of how fast you're going to be on top of someone and how fast uh, uh, you're going to just be ready for a change of direction. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I always, I always enjoy these type of challenges. I, um, that was kind of like, I learned a little bit from it and I'm hoping to improve from it. All right. Thank you, Matt. And, uh, we will have coach Frost next.